today we are here with the award-winning MC Barber. Hey everyone, this is MC. In this video, I really have exciting haircut for you. I have some really nice techniques. Uh, again, here uh, I have a makeover, long hair. I'm gonna be doing a, a different scissor technique in the previous video. The gentleman with a huge beard. I did the backhand cutting this time. I'm gonna be doing uh, scissor over knuckles again. I'm starting from the back. Quick on the neckline. The gentleman. The gentleman wanted his uh, neckline to kind of stay long, but the way his hair grows in the back, uh, you have to kind of bring it shorter. Otherwise, it won't look good. You really have to examine the shape of the hair. The sh I mean the the texture of the hair, uh, the shape of hairline. A neck neckline uh, and then go from there but in general you have to examine the whole you know the head shape the hair texture and so on and so forth and see if you can uh, deliver what client is actually asking for so here I started from the center back from a occipital bone you know I take about a half an inch sections and I go you know towards my right side first uh, and then I will go back and I will uh, do the same thing to my left side here this is a little bit tricky for most of you because uh, I do my both hands now to keep my shoulder down I switch to my left hand cutting so now instead of using my right hand in which case I would either have to cut palm to palm or I would have to keep my uh, shoulder high and I would have to go backwards I just switch to my left hand so this is one of the benefits that you get when you actually train your left hand to do what your left what your right hand does so once I am done with this uh, I'm gonna go now with uh, clippers and I'm going to uh, taper the back now here is a slightly different way of tapering the back not my usual way the way I usually show it to you with one and a half I could go with one and a half as usually but the texture of the hair actually makes huge difference as you can see his hair is quite wavy it's kind of like uh, uh, just the way it is it's to, to get really nice blend I like to go here with uh, the longest number which is 8 or 1 inch and then I'm gonna start switching them down to 6 uh, 5 4 3 2 1 and a half this is this is like a, a safe way to fade from very long to kind of short but not too short uh, especially depends on the texture of the hair you see how his hair kind of curls in the neckline so if I did my classical technique uh, most likely I would pull it off and uh, use scissor, uh, some scissor work but that would be really you have to be precise and skillful to do that this is just an easy and fast way and very efficient way to do this so you can get like almost taper back uh, that blends very nice into a long top uh, and the way one way that you can do it an easy way that you can do it is with uh, clippers going from the highest number going to the lowest number and now I'm using here one and a half now I like to say uh, something regarding these long haircuts you know I've seen so many videos on YouTube uh, different companies especially bigger companies the way they do these haircuts honestly me being in industry for about six, 17 years now and really learning from some of the best honestly my instructors are from Paul Mitchell Global Educators to the US champions from 70s and world champions from 80s in men's hairstyling. 
But when I watch some of these videos, how they do these haircuts, uh, especially the long haircuts, and the steps they make, and the steps they take to do a simple haircut, pretty much like this. If you ask me to repeat exactly the same steps, I really wouldn't be able to. Uh, just this angle, that angle, this section, that section. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's simple. I mean, as you can see, the, this, the result of this haircut will come out very well. It will come out very nice. And it's very simple. I mean, I did uh, scissor over knuckles at 90 degrees all around. Then with the clipper, as you can see, I tapered it, make a line, and really, I mean, there is nothing to it. It's very simple. I don't know why does it have to be so complicated. Uh, but anyway, this is the way I do it, honestly. Uh, since I have 20 minutes for a haircut, I try to make my haircuts as simple and as easy as possible. Uh, I don't like to make them fancy and complicated and I honestly believe they come out with high uh, quality. So now that I am done with my clipper work, uh, I wet the hair down since I want to use the razor. I always use the razor on the wet hair and I kind of now connect the scissor work to my clipper work. Uh, Basically, this is a sculpting technique. Uh, you kind of sculpt the hair. Uh, the name of the technique really explains everything. It's basically sculpting. Uh, and uh, remove the weight as well. Razor is really, I would have, I mean, I like all the tools, but Razor is almost my favorite tool to use. I mean, just especially if the hair is thick. You know, it just gives you that very nice texture and, you know, blend. This gentleman has extremely thick hair, which is very nice. Uh, and I'm going to cut the top also with a razor. It's actually slightly wavy. So again, I want to make sure the hair is very, uh, very wet. If you cut the, the hair with a razor and the hair is dry, it will really rip the hair. You want to make sure you get a nice slice, nice cut. Uh, so you want to have the hair wet and you want to make sure that your razor is sharp. Uh, so. I like to say that when it comes to cutting with a razor, how often do you change your razor? Depends on how much you're cutting. But I wouldn't be able to do more than three of these haircuts with a high quality razor. Uh, because they just get dull and then you have to simply replace them. So I probably do about three of these haircuts with this blade and remove the blade and, you know, Obviously, the razors like this, the blades like this, I don't uh, use on the skin. And if I was to use them on the skin, sometimes when I do use them on the skin, like on the neckline or uh, uh, bangs, uh, I make sure I put a fresh blade for a client. Otherwise, if it doesn't touch the skin, you can use the blade, obviously, to more than one haircut, just like scissors. But if you are actually coming into contact with the client's skin, you should definitely, definitely change the blade on each client. And we do that actually. And honestly, I like to mention that uh, with our shape up razors and uh, shaving razors, it is not enough that you just change the blade. You honestly have to disinfect the razor holder as well. What is the point of changing the blade if you don't dis disinfect the, the razor holder? So I use about three different uh, razor holders. I keep them in barber side and I make sure they stay there at least 10 minutes. 
So if I use uh, one raisin on this gentleman, raisin holder, I'll put it in the barber side and it will stay there at least 10 minutes. But I'll use the one that was there already. I won't use the same raisin holder on a client after a client. You have to be very careful these days. It is very important. I mean, with all the things that are out there, you really want to... The safety of your client should be your priority. It really should be the priority. And unfortunately, I've seen barbers that not even they don't... They don't even change the blade, never mind this affect the razor holder, which is really sad. I mean, and if I was a client, if I have clients that are watching, not actual barbers, I will say one thing to you. If you go to a barber and he does not change the blade in front of your eyes, don't let him use it. So it's very important. Now for the end here, I'm connecting uh, my uh, sides and top with a straight edge razor again, as I usually like to do. Uh, basically now I'm sculpting. I believe this haircut is coming out pretty nice. It's pretty classic. You can see the back is tapered. Uh, the top is longer. Obviously, in some type, of, some uh, necklines like on this one here, you can see it's very difficult to get that really nice smooth transition unless you go with a high tape, higher taper than this. But we, he wanted to keep this kind of longer neckline and more classic, more business look. So I had to keep it that long. But to kind of really get really good blend here, you would have to go a little higher on the tapering. Now blow drying obviously makes huge difference. You have to style that hair. I like using Moroccan oil for finish. I think it's a very nice product. All right, thanks for watching. That's your finished look. Please don't forget to subscribe. mcbarber.com is my website. If you like my work, please put thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for subscribing. It really motivates me to do this more. Until next time, take care of yourself. MC is here.